The fallen soldiers from Australia and New Zealand have been honored despite the cancellation of this year's annual Anzac Day ceremony due to the coronavirus. Carla Cruz reports from Sydney. The 25th of April is an important date on the calendar for Australia and New Zealand. Known as Anzac Day, it's a national day of remembrance in both countries, originally made to commemorate all those who served and died in World War I, as that was the first time Australia and New Zealand joined forces for military action. Over time and up until now, it's a day to honour all Australian and New Zealand servicemen and women, past and present, who have served and died in all wars, conflicts and peacekeeping assignments. Hence the acronym ANZAC which stands for Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. Traditionally, crowds would pay their respects with services and marches held at memorial parks, local RSLs or war shrines. But due to the current COVID-19 crisis and restrictions on public gatherings, those crowds commemorated in their driveways, balconies and lounge rooms instead. Across the country, many Australians were urged to light up a candle or torch at 6am for dawn services as this was the time the original Anzacs landed in Gallipoli, Turkey on the 25th of April in 1915. A dawn service involves a veterans march, commemorative address, the laying of reefs, the sounding of the last post which is a military bugle call signifying the end of the day's activities, one minute silence and the national anthems of Australia and New Zealand. The campaign known as Light Up the Dawn was initiated by the Return Services League and gained traction on social media, encouraging all to take part. Aside from the home remembrance services held, there was also an increase in home baking and eating the popular Anzac biscuits. The origin of the Anzac biscuits, which traditionally consist of flour, oats, golden syrup, desiccated coconut, sugar, butter and bicarb soda, was born as a result of the wives, mothers and girlfriends of the Australian soldiers sending the biscuits to the troops. They were initially called soldiers biscuits, but they were changed to Anzac after it became a popular wartime treat for them. Nowadays, the Anzac biscuit remains a well-loved treat and is available all year round to enjoy. This year's unconventional services mark the 105th anniversary of the Anzac troops landing in Gallipoli in 1915. And although Australians could not be together to pay their respects in person, they were united under the Anzac spirit of courage and mateship in a new tradition. Reporting from Sydney, Australia, I'm Carla Cruz and we live in interesting times.